Hello everyone and welcome to the second tutorial in our survival game series um, done by Brackies. I'm the CEO of Brackies. And uh, today we are going to take a look on how to create a melee system. I know that in the last tutorial I promised you we would take uh, care of some shooting, but I just thought that the melee system would be a little bit more interesting. And also there are lots of lots of tutorials on how to do shooting out there. So um, I guess we'll just cover that later. For now on we'll do the melee system. Okay, so let's get ready. Um, I've opened up uh, Unity, our Unity project, and um, as you can see, uh, it looks just like before, I haven't made any changes. Um, one thing though, I have saved the scene by going to File, um, Save Scene or Save Scene As, and I've called it the Main Scene 01, okay? So if you experience that when you start up the project, um, your scene view is just empty and your game view is just blue, um, it means that you have to double click on this main scene. It's because it haven't loaded the scene yet. All right, so uh, first things first, let's just go ahead and rename the first person co uh, controller by right clicking and hitting rename to player. And let's go ahead and make a new game object called an empty. So go to game object, create empty, or just press control shift N. And uh, this is pretty much just an object that is entirely invisible in the scene. It can't be seen anywhere. Um, so you can store scripts and stuff like that just to get a position in the scene. But we'll talk about that later. Um, so for now, we can just name this Melee. And we can go ahead and drag this onto the player. This will parent it to the player and then drag it again onto our main camera. And um, you can see that if we just zero out the transform on the right hand side to zero, 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 um, that it will be directly in the center of the camera and then drag it out a little bit so that it's right in front. Um, one thing that you should notice is that uh, right now our position is zero, zero, zero point five, five or something. Um, but if I drag this melee out again, re, uh, unparented, look, the position has changed. And this is because when a, an object is parented to another object, its center, meaning the zero values, is set to that object. But we'll talk about that later. Now you can just reparent it. So, um, all right, now that we have this, we can go ahead and add a new component by clicking add component and new script and call this melee system, something like that, whatever you want. Um, and we can go ahead and double click this to open it up in mono develop. And this script that we're going to create is a little bit more advanced than I would like it to be. But um, you, I don't expect you to understand everything if you're a complete beginner. And I won't explain everything in complete de detail. But something I do want to explain you is what is called a raycast function. But we'll get to this later. For now, you can just go ahead and delete the function start and the function update. So first of all, in this script, we want to create a new variable. And if variables are completely new to it, it's basically a box where you can store things in. So it can change, it can be, um, if we type var, this is a variable that we can access in Unity. So if I make um, a variable and call it something and say this is going to be a number, we can go into Unity and just without any scripting, change the number. So in this script, we can say if I make a variable called health and then later say that our health is 100, we can do that in Unity and just play around with it. We don't have to go back in the script and change it all the time. This is really cool. So variables is something you need all the time when scripting. So var, this means that we're declaring a variable and now the name of the variable. And the name of this variable is going to be the damage or just damage, whatever you want. Um, the damage, but because this is going to be how much damage that we'll do to an object when we hit it. So um, simply 
we type the damage and then make a colon and then type int. And uh, this is short for integer and means um, a whole number, a number without decimals. So um, it is going to be a number without decimals. And just by default is going to be, let's say that we'll do 50 damage. If, if, if the uh, opponent's health is about 100, we'll do 50. So and we need to hit it two times. And then as always, when we declare a variable or call something, we'll end up with a semicolon. This is very important. Okay, so um, that's basically it for the start. Um, we're going to need another variable though. And uh, this variable is going to be called distance and it's going to be a type float. And I won't go into too much detail, but basically this is going to be the variable that we'll access later to see how far away our opponent is from us. So we can't hit him if he's 50 meters away. Um, he needs to be in a certain distance from us. Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and create the function update. And the function update is um, everything that is in the function update will be called every time the computer draws a frame. So um, this might sound confusing, it's really not. Um, it's just a function that you call if you want to check if the user has pressed a button or if you want something to happen constantly. So it's what you, you type when you want something to happen or the computer to check for something all the time. So, oh, I just made a mistake there. So um, function update um, and then the bracket keys. And now in this function update, we're going to type var hit and then colon raycast hit. And um, this I want to go in, I won't go into detail with. Um, it's pretty hard to understand just like this. But basically what we're going to do is we want, we are going to um, draw a line from our um, player to what the player is pointing at. So let me just open up paint here so I can explain this to you. Um, excuse me for looking over here. This is where I have pre-typed the script just so I won't make any mistakes or anything. So, okay. Um, so basically if we have our player, this is our character controller. This is our player. I can go ahead and type this if you want. So, um, this is our player and, um, we have an opponent. So I'll just quickly draw our opponent opponent and what we want the computer to do using what's called a raycast is simply measure the distance from the player to the opponent. And this is done by telling the computer to draw a line from our player and directly out. So from the center of our camera and just forward, it needs to draw a line. And whenever that this line hits something, it says, oh, we've hit an object. And then what we can do is we can ask, okay, what have you hit and how long, how great of a distance is there to that object. So basically what we want to do is we want to use this raycast and we want to ask how far away, how far is the, um, the object and is it an opponent? And if it's um, just like half a meter away and it is an opponent, then we want it to lose health. So that's why we type um, this if, because it's if the um, opponent is close, not, not just all the time. So just type after me physics that raycast and then open up a parentheses, a transform, transform with no capital dot position, comma, transform, come on, dot, uh, transform direction because we want it to we want to know where it is looking and the transform direction is called uh, is going to be called a vector 3 and a vector 3 sounds so complicated it, it 
it's really not it's just the x the y and the c it's just it just means that it's going to be with three axes basically so um dot forward so this just means that in these three axes we just want it to look forward so what this piece of code is going to do just type comma hit and then close parentheses close parentheses um, what this code is going to do it is going to cast a line out from the point of this empty object that we created and just forward and when it hits something give us some information so um, now that we have typed this out uh, let's open up some brackets so uh, curly bracket curly bracket close and in this if statement we're going to type distance equals hit dot distance so basically what we do here is we say that our variable the distance is going to be equal to how far away the game object is so basically we can see how far it is in in unity when we try to test this out um, i hope i'm not losing you if i am it's completely fine much of the code that we are going to be writing is much easier than this and then um oh what did i do what did i do so hit dot transform dot send message um and then we're going to send the message to the game object that we hit that it should apply damage and just close this up comma the damage and um, then we are going to tell it that it does not need a receiver. So, and then close this and end with a semicolon. Okay, that is it for the code. Um, I know that it's really, really confusing. Um, it, it's not that bad, really. Um, what we're doing here is we're casting out uh, the line we're checking the distance and um then we're sending we're sending out um a message to the object that we hit that we should apply damage and then the um, damage part we'll do in a script that sits on the object so okay but um right now we have made a mistake because this is going to be called every frame every single frame and that's sometimes 30 to 60 times per um, second so um we are gonna want to do this only when the player presses a certain button presses the um the fire button or whatever so um we'll go up here and we'll create a new if statement and this time we'll say that if input dot get uh get button down yes input dot get button down so if the computer um gets uh, if the player presses this button then all this stuff will happen so if input dot get button down and we are going to check for fire one and fire one is pretty uh, it's just the preset button that Unity has set up for shooting. So this means that instead of saying that if they press P, we just say fire one. And this means that it it will convert to bo both the computer, this is the mouse button, and the Xbox, if you're coding for the Xbox or the PlayStation and all this. So, um, but then just make in a open curly bracket and then make yet another close curly bracket. We can just go ahead and hit and make some taps. So we get all this in order. Okay, so now go ahead and save this, pressing Control S and go, uh, go back to Unity. And I can see that we have some errors. Let me just check out on this. Okay. Um, hit that transform sent message. The damage sent don't require receiver. Um, what did we do wrong? Oh, 
So um, there is a parentheses too much there. So we can just go ahead and delete this. And what is this? If input get button down fire one, I think that is correct. F input. Hmm. Um, so the best overload for the method unity int is not compatible with the argument list string. Um, oh, it's get mouse button down. We just want get button down. Okay, so now this should be fixed. If we go ahead and save this and clear this out. Yes. Um, okay, cool. So now if we select our melee, you can see um, that we have the variable damage and that we can change this. I'll just leave it at 50 and the variable distance. So if we go ahead and press, press play and then uh, press our mouse button, you can see that depending on what we are looking at, the distance um, changes when we are pressing the mouse button. So it is requiring the data correctly. So. This is perfect. Okay, um, I know that's, that this was um, a lot to take in. Um, we'll continue in the next video um, with the damaging parts and just making some animation and making it look really cool. This was a lot of, co of coding, I know that, but I swear it'll get better. So um, thank you for watching.